Happy New Year. Y'all let me know when you go turn that mic on, because I wish everybody a happy new year. Happy New Year to you. I might sing when I start today. Okay, okay, here we go. Y'all hadn't started, was you? Hey, Happy New Year 2016. We're ready to go. Welcome to Mark Martin Ford. And I tell you what, it's 2016. Everybody's starting out on a program. Here's what a guy told me. He said, Mooney, you got to walk, you got to exercise. I said, I don't really have time. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to exercise this whole 30 minute show. Okay? And I'm going to buy, there's no telling what kind of pounds I'll be losing this year, but we're going to talk to you about, I'm going to tell you, I'm already tired. Forget that program. Let me just talk to you. There's no, I'll run out of breath because I can't talk to you for 30 minutes if I'm sitting there doing all that. Here's what I want to do. I want to talk to you about the car business. I want your business. Okay? That's all I'm asking for. I just want the opportunity. Now we get shoppers. We understand you're going to go shop, but I promise you when the bottom line, you're going to come back. You're going to come back. I'm going to tell you straightforward. I'm going to tell you the facts. We all pay the same for new cars. Let's go back. We're right here at our Ford store today. If you'll go to Mark, and it's a little bit cool, but it's supposed to be cool. It's January and it's 2016, and we're fixing to get a new president. Okay? Don't care who it is, it's got to be better than what we had. And I hate it if you're a Bahama Mama man, but we're fixing to get somebody new. I don't know if it's going to be Trump Tyler, it's going to be Hillary, Ben Carr. I'm not into politics, even though I'd like to run for something, just because you get to talk to a lot of people. but. I don't know who it's going to be, but I know it's going to be better. Here's what I do know. I'm going to save you money in the car business. I just want the opportunity, okay? We all pay the same for a new car, I've told you that. We're at our Ford store today. Right next door is our Kia store. Up at Melbourne, I got a Chevy store. Up at Ash Flat, I got a Chevrolet Buick GMC store. Whatever brand you want, I can sell you. It comes down to what you get for your trade, and that's where we will win. I stress it. I preach it. You got to listen to me, okay? Now, every once in a while, I'm going to do a few exercises and keep moving, just keep the blood flowing because it's a little bit cool. Only thing really gets cool is my ears, but what I'm telling you is it comes down to what you get for your trade. We're on the money. We're on the market. I got some people the other day that were shopping for a new truck. I give them the right money. They go around shopping. They spend, number one, you got to figure out what your time is worth. Maybe theirs is not worth nothing. you got to figure out what gas is worth. Maybe that is cheaper now. After four days of searching the world over to find true love, that's that old song again, ain't it? After searching the world over, they come back here and nobody beat my price, okay? Nobody beat it and then they wanted me to get cheap. I said, I wouldn't have let you left to start with. I told you I was gonna be your winner. Then they wouldn't know about their trade. So I fired at them on their trade. They started searching the world over again. They come back again. You're wasting your time. I don't mind you shopping, but I promise you, I'm gonna be your winner. I know everybody gets on here and says that, but I'm telling you, this year, starting in March, will be my 40th year in the car business. 40 years of doing the same thing. I hadn't worked over here and done this a while, and done this a while, and done this a while. I've sold cars for 40 years. I eat, sleep, and breathe it, and that's all I do, and that's all I know how to do, okay? And the reason I've been successful, because what I tell you, you can put in the bank. It's just like that little piggy bank, your kid, that little jar, you put it in there and it would never go nowhere. If I tell you something, I promise you, straight shooter, I'm gonna do what I do to take care of you. Before the sale, during the sale, and after the sale. And let me tell you this, my people's gonna do the same thing. We're not gonna blow you any smoke and mirrors. We're not gonna humble mumble, jumble cumble, humble dumble, whatever all them sayings, that jumble mumble. Dumplings come out of that somehow, but I, I, I like eating. But anyway, we're not gonna bake any dumplings out of, and make it smoke and mirrors. When it's said and done, I'm your winner, I just gotta get the opportunity. I'll give you more if you trade. I know what your trade's worth. I don't need Kelly Blue Book. I don't need NADA. I don't need all these books. I just want to do business with you. Just give me the opportunity. I promise you, if I get the opportunity, you'll be driving a car with Mark Martin on the back. I just gotta get the opportunity. Here's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna preview some of our pre-owned cars here today. All right, I told you we're gonna preview some of our pre-owned and I'm more than excited today because number one, it's a new year, so everybody starts a new year out by working out. I done got up and worked out today. Secondly, is I love it when I get a nice piece, that a rare piece, that's a one-of-a-kind piece, and that's what I got right here. And I'm also moving around because it's a little bit cold. I got a 2014 F-250 Lariat King Ranch. It's a little bit dirty if you see it because I'm demoing on it, demoing it. I'm driving it. It's a dark stone if you're looking on television that might look black. The dark, this is a real deep, rich chocolate brown with a gold accent, Pueblo gold accent. This truck has got every option. It's got nav, it's got roof, it's got every option they make. Here's the kicker on this. It's a 14 model, okay? 16s are out, it's two year old. 
This truck has 5,000 miles on it. It's got a $1,500 bed cover on it. It's got a $1,000 bed rug in it. It's got all carpeted bed. It's never hauled nothing but the groceries. It's a showstopper. It's brand new. It's got the vent visor. It's got extras on it. This truck is $48,995. $48,995 for a $70,000 truck when it was new and only has 5,000 miles, okay? I wanna tell you something. If you're looking for a King Ranch, you're probably trading in a King Ranch. A lot of King Ranch customers trade, trade because they like the interior. Hard to find, super nice truck. Give me the chance. That's all I'm asking for. $48,995 for mine. You can't find it, you can go buy a new and spend you about 20 more grand. That's up to you, this truck's just like new. Or you can save that 20 grand, drive this truck, and give me your trade, and I promise you I'm gonna beat the next guy. I just want the opportunity to do business with you. Super nice truck at $48,995. We're gonna move on, but I'm telling you, that's a super truck, a beautiful truck, nice truck. All right, let me tell you what we got right here. I got a 2013 Chevrolet Tahoe LTZ. It's got the big wheels on it, four wheel drive. It's got all the gear on it. It's a gold miss. It's got uh, third row seating. Got all the equipment you're looking on. $36,995. $36,995. And let me tell you something. These Tahoes are hard to find. New ones come out. They're anywhere from fifty-five to seventy-five thousand. Everybody just about has a coma when they see that. It's crazy what they cost. So number one, that's driven the price of the pre-owned up. Number two, supply and demand. Normally people, whatever they're driving is what they trade in for. So that many people have been keeping theirs. They're not trading them in for new ones because they're finding out what the new ones and they can't afford them. So they're still driving what they got. So that means there's not as many pre-owned out there. So if you're looking for a used Tahoe and you don't want to spend that fifty to 60000 range, I got one for $36,995. It is an LTZ. It's got the gear. It's Peblo Gold with black interior. Beautiful color combination. Super nice rig. $36,995. We're going to move on, but I'm telling you, super, super nice truck with the equipment, with the four-wheel drive. Okay, let me tell you what I got right here. Used pre-owned trucks are always hard to find, and I tell you what, mainly with low miles on them. I tell you what I got right here. I got a 2014 extended cab F-150 XLT, okay? It's got the chrome on it. It's got chrome wheels. It's got the chrome steps on it. It's got a, bed a spray in bed liner in it. It's got the tailgate step. This truck has buckets and console. Most of the time XLTs has got the fold down armrest with the 6040 seat. This truck out here has got the buckets and the console in it. Okay, here's the only thing wrong with this truck. It's got one little issue wrong with it. It is a little bit miles on it for a 2014. It has 1,000 miles. Whoa, 1,000 miles. How about that? This truck is just like a brand new truck for $30,995. Now get some of that. $30,995, 1,000 mile truck. Why'd they trade that? Come in, we'll tell you. There's all reasons people do crazy things. You know, some people buy something they don't like it, they find out when they get home they can't afford it, they find out they need this, they find out their wife said no. There's all kinds of reasons, okay? Most of the time it's the reason I said at the end. They found out their wife said no. We do know that the wives are the bosses, okay? So you ladies watching, amen to you. You're the winner. But let me tell you something, 30000 9.95 for a 14 loaded up truck, 1,000 miles. We're gonna move on, but that's a super, super nice truck with 1,000 miles, okay? I'll tell you what I got right here. A hard piece to find, you either love them or you hate them, but here's what I will tell you. If you hadn't experienced driving one of these down the road, you gotta drive one of these cars down the road. This is a 2012 Flex that we sold brand new that we've traded back for, okay? It's an SEL car. It's pearl white with black leather. It's not a base car, it does have leather in it. This has all the equipment on it. But what I'm trying to tell you, if you've never drove one of these cars, you need to drive one because they drive second to none. I promise you, the ride and drive is just like, I started to say, just like laying a casket. You land in a casket and it's just the smoothest, that's gonna be the smoothest ride you ever laid in. This is gonna be just like laying a casket. Read I say it kinda looks like a little bit of a hearse, you know what I'm saying? So. I don't know where I come up with that. Sometimes I just think of some crazy things, but if you're laying in a casket, the only ride you're gonna have is the pallbearers bouncing you a little bit. And I want them to, okay, let's get off that. 2012 Flex SEL with leather, with the gear, $19,900. $19,900. Now, 
there's two reasons that you hadn't seen a lot of these on the road. Either people love them or hate them. I actually love them because number one, it's stylish and classy and it's modern looking, you don't find them. The second reason is when they come out, they were too high. They're still high. They're 40 to 55,000. That's crazy. But we don't build them, we just sell them, okay? So that's why you hadn't seen them because people won't say, well, I'm not spending 50,000 for that car. That's why there's not that many pre-owned. I got a pre-owned that a ride and drive better than anything on this lot for $19,900. $19, just come experience the drive. That's all I'm asking you to do. I'm not telling you to buy the car. I just want you to drive it from here to ball and I'm back. When you come back, I know what's going to happen. You're going to come in grinning like a possum. You're going to say, man, you's right about how them drive because I promise you, drive second to none. We're going to move on, but I'm telling you, I'll save that car for $19,900. All right, I'll tell you what I got right here. And I always stress to you, at any Mark Martin store, it doesn't matter where at, that's why we're the pre-owned giant. We sell all makes and we sell all models, current year models, it doesn't matter. We're in car business, okay? What I mean by that, we are at our Ford store right now. Yes, our Kia store is right next door. And yes, we're looking at a 2015 Chevrolet Silverado LT four-wheel drive. We're not talking about a base truck. Now let's compare apples for apples. They're gonna throw them figures on TV and they're gonna have a double cab on there, which is the little small doors, okay, that somebody like me can't even get in. Then they're gonna have one with no running boards, without the aluminum alloy wheels, without the bed liner, without the buckets and We got equipment, okay? Always compare apples for apples and oranges for oranges, but don't put half your oranges in your apple basket. That's what I'm always telling you when coming. I'm not gonna get beat if you compare apples for apples. I got a 2015 Chevy Silverado LT for $32,800. Now you can go buy this truck new for about 38 to 39 grand. It's about as cheap as you can buy this truck new. This truck is just like a new one, except they're gonna save you about seven grand. Not only am I gonna save you seven grand on your initial purchase, I'm gonna give you about one to four grand more for your trade-in, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna win by 10 grand. I just gotta get the opportunity. I can't save you money if you don't give me a chance. A 2015, Chevrolet Silverado LT for 32.8. We're gonna move on, but I'm telling you, you give me the chance, I'm gonna be your winner. Let me tell you what I got right here. I got a 2010, he's coming on up here. He's a little cold, these cars are cold this morning. I got a 2010 Chevrolet Suburban, okay? I sold this truck brand new. This truck is an LTZ. This truck is loaded, hard loaded. When they order them, they say, make the options I want it. It's got sunroof, it's got DVD, it's got navigation, it's got quad seating, it's got four wheel drive, it's got the big 20s, you name it, it's got it, no need for me to go over it, okay? We go down the list on the Chevrolet order form, we go click, 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 click. They've ordered everything that you can get on the car. A 2010 Chevrolet Silverado LTZ. Now you order this thing new right now and you're gonna be talking about 75 to 80 grand, okay? Catch that again, 75 to 80 grand for a new one. I got one that'll do the same thing. You can put all the baseball gear in the back, you can put all the football gear, whatever season it might be, that you can haul it, you can be the next soccer mom. But I'm gonna sell you this truck right here at $30,995, $30,995, okay? It's got all the equipment on it, it's got all the gear on it, it's a super nice rig, local one owner, it's got a great history with it, it's got a great story with it. Beautiful color, white with black inside, 30,009. Just give me a chance. We're gonna move on, but I'm telling you, that's a super, super nice rig right there. Let me tell you what I got this for. This is a rare piece right here. I got a 2011 F250 XLT, local one owner that we sold brand new. White with gray interior. It's got the wheels on it, it's got the steps, it's got the bed liner, it's got the tailgate step, it's got the FX4 package. It's got all the equipment on it. It's a local work truck, and I'm gonna tell you this. I don't wanna deceive you. I don't want you to drive over and say it's brand new. It's got a little scratch on the tailgate. It's got a little spot here on the hood, and it's got a little spot on the quarter panel on the other side a little low. Then you know why I didn't put them in the body shop to fix them? Because the guy that buys this truck is gonna buy a work truck. It's an F-250, okay? It's a local businessman here in town. It's a pharmacist and got a few cows on the side and wants to be a cowboy, okay? The truck's just like a new one. It's a gas burner, they're hard to find. I'll sell you this truck at $27,995, $27,995. Let me tell you something, you go buy a new one of these trucks, you're gonna be in the upper 40s, $50,000 range. This truck's a bargain, 
A lot of people's buying gas over diesels right now. This is a super nice truck. It hadn't been hurt. It's got the buckets and console. It's got the wheels. It's got the steps. It's got the tailgate step. It's got a bed liner. It's got the hit. It's got everything you need to go to work for $27,995. We're going to move on, but I'm telling you, that's a super nice truck. That's a good buy on that truck. Let me tell you what I got right here. Kia outdone herself here. Kia Motors, has, the last 10 years, has flipped the world around, okay? Remarkable products with remarkable warranty. Well, here's what they done last year. In 15, they come out, it's hard to say that, last year in 15, which was just a few days ago, but they come out with their new van that makes it back where it's hip to drive a van. And then they put the Kia Sedona front end on it, okay? They got the Kia Sedona front end on it that looks like the Kia uh, Sorrento's. Super nice van. I got a 2015 model with only 14,000 miles. A 2015 model with only 14,000 miles. Let me tell you, this van right here, I say this van for $22,800. $22,800. This van new is going to be about 31 to 33 grand. Give or take a couple options. It's going to be 30 to 32 grand, right in that range. I'll sell it to you for 228 with only 14,000 miles. It's white with tan interior, and I promise you, if it wasn't stylish before to drive a van, drive one now. Super, super nice van, super nice car, heck of a buy, just give me the chance. We'll move on, but I'm telling you, that, that's an LX van with the equipment on it, backup sensors, it's got all the gear on it, it's got all the color in it, and I can sell you that van for $22,800, and I know maybe you hadn't drove in a van in a while, just come drive one. Let me tell you what we just traded for right here. This is a 2010 Chevrolet Cruze LT, okay? A 2010 Chevrolet Cruze LT package. It's got the bucket seats, it's got the big hatch in the back, plenty of Holland's place, plenty of cargo area. This is a super nice rig right here, but here's the main thing you got. Price range, it's hard to find anything. It's tax time, you got a little money back. It may be these, you don't want to buy something 30 or 40,000. I'll say this van right here, I call it a van, it's a mid-size SUV, but I'll sell you this, <coughs> excuse me, 2010 Chevrolet Traverse LT for $13,900. $13,900. I'm saying that again, so $13,900, okay? The 15 models have not changed body styles on Traverse. They're good sellers. They look exactly like it. This thing has got brand new set of tires on it. It's got the alloy wheels, it's got rain guards, it's got the roof rack, bucket seats, it's got all the seating, five pasture, plus with a hatch, $13,900 for a 2010 Chevrolet Traverse LT. It won't last. We'll move on, but I'm telling you, that's a super, super nice rig right there. Let me tell you what I got right here. I got an 09, 2009 Mustang, okay? Now listen to me. It's graduation before you know it, time flies. A 2009 Ford Mustang with the pony package. It's got the stripes on it. It does have leather inside, okay? White car with leather, it's not a base car. It is an automatic car. It does have the spoiler. It's got the hard alloy wheels. It's got all the equipment on it. I'm not trying to sell you a base car, but here's the kicker with this car. It's an 09 model with 55,000 miles. It's only got 55,000 miles on an 09. This car hadn't even been driven. This car's not even really broke in good. I'm gonna say this car for 11.9. $11,900, under 12 grand. Graduation's right around the corner. This is the car. Get out and start shopping and find cars under 15 grand with less than 120,000 on them, okay? This car has 50,000 miles. This car has leather. This car's an automatic. This car's got the wheels and the spoiler. This car's got everything. I could sit here and talk another 45 minutes on this one car because you can't, find cars with 55,000 mile in that price range. And when you get out and start shopping, you're gonna see what I'm talking about, okay? These cars are gonna, most of the time you're gonna be looking at 18 to 22,000. I saved this car for $11,900. So hard piece to find, hard to find for $11,900. All right, we're gonna move on, but I'm telling you, that's a super, super nice car. We're gonna move on. He was not paying attention to me, but I'll wake him up a little bit. All right, let me tell you what I got right here. I got a 2015, maybe you don't want that older one. I got a 2015 Mustang. It's a new body style. They're already on the market. This is an automatic car. 
And Ford outdone herself here because you're talking about a good looking body style. These are good looking, big old swooping front ends. It's got the gunmetal gray wheels, black with black interior. This car only has 13,000 miles, and I say this car for $23,800 $23, for a 15 model Mustang. Okay? Super, super nice car, black on black. If you're like drive, you're probably driving a sports car. So if you are, bring yours in and see what I'm going to give you. I just want the opportunity because I promise you I'll get your attention. I just want the opportunity to do business with you. So 2015 for twenty-three thousand eight hundred dollars. We'll move on, but I'm telling you, that's a super nice car. It is an automatic car. It's got all the equipment on it. Well, I'll tell you what I got right here. Hard piece to find too. Okay? I always brag about. We've always got the lifted trucks and the lifted Jeeps. We got always the showstoppers on them here. Well, let me tell you what we got right here. I got a 2011 Ford. It's Ford. I'm looking at a Ford pulling in the drive. I'm doing my job. See, so when I point like that, I'm not pointing at you. I'm pointing at them, telling them to let that car on in the drive. We're not professional femmers here, so I don't. Maybe the femming crew is, but maybe the talker man ain't. So we don't mind. But let me get back on this Jeep. I got a 2011 Jeep. Wrangler Unlimited Sahara. Okay, number one, I always tell you, the best resale in the industry. It's crazy what they bring, they bring the money. They bring a lot of money and they're hard to find. Let me tell you what I got right here. I got a 2011 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara, which is the best. It's got the color-coded top, burgundy with a burgundy top. It's got buckskin leather in it. Catch that leather. It does have leather inside. Automatic. A super nice rig, then let me tell you what else I got. Only 58,000 miles. A 2011 model with only 58,000 miles. I'll say this Jeep for $28,900. $28, now when you start getting out here hunting for Jeeps and looking for Jeeps, let me tell you something. Number one, they're crazy, okay? It's crazy what they bring, I admit it. Number two, it's hard to find any of them under 30 grand that doesn't have 118,000 on them. It's crazy what they bring and they're hard to find. I got a 2011 that actually has a brand new set of tires on it we just put on. It's got 50,000 miles. It does have leather. It does have the color coded top, which is you won't find many of them like that. Very stylish and sporty. This car is a beautiful rig, beautiful rig. I'll say this for $28,900, $28,900, super, super nice Jeep. We're gonna move on, but I'm telling you, that's a good looking Jeep. Hard piece to find for $28,900. Well, let me tell you something. That's, that's all the cars I'm gonna show you here today, and I got a little time to talk to you a minute. Let me tell you a little bit. We're starting a new year out, and we're starting out a new life, okay? I hope you are too. My new life is to tell you the 100% truth as we always have about cars, no smoke and mirrors, and do straightforward business. All I'm asking for is the opportunity to do business with you. You got all these guys, number one, the reason that we are, it's not, I'm not the giant because I'm the biggest. A lot of people say, well, yeah, you're the biggest car dealer around. Well, that's just my choice. That's because I've chose too many buffets in my life. I'm choosing now not to go to them buffets no more. I'm gonna go to the sushi buffet from now on, okay? Even though that way I don't even like that stuff, so that way I'll eat less. So I'm not the giant because that reason. We're the giant because we stock more and we sell more than anybody around. We sell more pre-owned cars in North Central Arkansas than anybody around here, hands down. And the reason we do that is two reasons. Number one reason is because we take care of our customers before the sale, during the sale, and after the sale. The next reason is pricing. It's all about the bacon, I understand that. I'm gonna have every brand, I could sit right here and look, and I've got a Kia's, I got Hondas, I got Toils, I got Nissan's, I got Lexus, I got BMW's, I got Jeep's, I got Chevrolet's, I got I got everything. Now, you go to another lot, I got them there too. We're not, you know, you go to a lot of these places, we're at a Ford store. They say, well, I'm wanting a Chevrolet truck. Give me a chance. I probably, odds are, I've probably got one. Now you go to some of these other dealers, they don't stock them. They go in there and get on the internet and start locating them, find them, and they run in there on the phone and they say, hey Mooney, will you sell us that truck? And then they tell you about what they got, okay? And the reason for that is because they're scared to stock something that's not their brand. We're not scared to stock it. We're not scared to do business, we do it. Secondly is, we stay on the money, we stay on the market. We don't care about what Kelly Blue Book says, we don't care about Mannheim Auction Report, a lot of these go, they go, uh, what's that called, Mannheim? They do all these high tech, you see them, at the, they, they look like an electronic guy at the car auction. 
because they got all these pads with wires hanging on. They go up and shoot the windows and book tells them what they're supposed to pay for it and they, that's what they're supposed to sell it for. We're not computerized. We're just Arkansas hillbillies right here that know the car business and do business. Okay? So that's what I'm telling you. We, you know, we always tell you that eggs are cheaper in the country. Come up here and find out if they're not. They are. Everybody around here is raising eggs. And they're cheaper here and the cars are too. I just got to get the opportunity to do business with you. If you'll give me that opportunity, I promise you'll like what we do. Because we're going to beat our competition on every deal if we get to compare apples for apples. Okay? As I told you before, we started January of 2004, 11 years ago. Mark Martin and Lance Lander started 11 years ago. Now, we have turned into seven separate locations. We have this lot, we have a Kia store, Chevy store, Chevrolet Buick GMC store, Mark Martin Honda Power Sports store, Mark Martin Finance Centers, we have two of those, okay? So we're in the business, we're here to stay, and we're not here for this manager to go here. You see most of these manager dealerships, they're gone about every one year to two year. They, they switch places. And the reason, because they're not producing the numbers they're supposed to. Well, let me tell you what we do. We're not about that. I've been here for 11 years from day one. Most of my managers, I've hired them four to eight years ago. They don't bounce around. They're not job hunting. And the reason they're not, because we take care of our people and we take care of our people that work for us, okay? I want my people, when you come back to buy your car in three years, to see the same salesperson. I don't want it where you all these salesperson bounce place to place. You know why they're bouncing? I'll get into that later because I don't have time. They're telling me to shut her down a little bit. But I'll tell you why they're bouncing, because they're blowing smoke and mirrors, and that's what you'll never find at a Mark Martin store. 100% straight, I'll win if you give me a chance, and I appreciate you watching, and I'm so excited about 2016, staying away from the buffet and going to the sushi buffet. And I tell you what, you've probably seen a coffee. I didn't even drink any. The hottest fad this year was those Yeti cups. The year before last, it was Pandora coats or Pangoa or whatever that is. I don't know what it was. Next year, I want to vent something, and it'll be the hottest fad going for 2017. But right now, I just want to sell you a car. I just want the opportunity to do business with you. And if you give us the opportunity, I'm going to be your winner. Thanks a lot. Congratulations for making it through the year. Get ready for a great 2016 because election years are always good. And we know that. It's going to be a great year for everybody. Congratulations to you for making it through and get ready and get excited. And remember, eggs are always cheaper in the country.